bonobo apes are, right this instant, conducting a never-ending orgy of polysexual fuckery in the jungles of the Congo. Of bonobos, Discovery Magazine writes, frequent couplings and casual sex play characterize every social relationship between males and females, members of the same sex, closely related animals, and total strangers. Sweet criminy jismus bonobos. No wonder no one invites you into their zoos. I mean, there'd be some seriously shell-shocked children going through puberty about a decade too early with all your fleshy goings on. In nature, however, this freakish level of promiscuity actually has some delightfully bizarro social applications. Sexual behavior also occurs after aggressive encounters, especially amongst males. After two males fight, for example, one may reconcile with his opponent by presenting his rump and backing up against the other's testicles. He might grab the penis of the other male and stroke it. It's the male bonobo's way of shaking hands and letting everyone know that the conflict has ended amicably. Mark. Mark. Look at me. I'm right here, brother, okay? Now, I may have bested you on the field of battle today, but uh, listen, I'm proud of you. I, I am, brother. And listen, if you're still pissed about me conquering you, maybe we could, I don't know, rub our grundles together a bit, maybe... Make a three-dick salad with carmine? I mean, whatever you... I just... I'd hate to let any hard feelings fester between us, you know? Finally, males also engage in sex-like behaviors roughly analogous to the genital rubbins of females. Kano noted male-to-male -male mountains and anus-to-anus -anus contact, and there was also the occasional bit of pseudocopulation, back-to-back, scrotum-against-buttocks, testicle touching, and even sometimes... Penis fencing. Penis fencing? Uh, can we get a Google image search for penis fencing, please? No, oh, no, that's not, I mean, that's lovely fencing, but it's not what I, you know what? Google, go to bed, you, you're drunk again. I cannot even tell you how much freakier bonobos are than I was at any part of my college sexual career. I mean, <laughs> penis fencing? <laughs> anus to anus sex. How does that even? Leave it up to the bonobos to have sex that is not only delightfully avant-garde, but also straight up physically impossible. Jesus, I mean, leave it up to the bonobos to go so completely perverse that they actually somehow come all the way back around to civilized again. <laughs> oh no, are those filthy humans still insisting on using their genitals? for sex? Dear heavens, people, um, you simply haven't lived until you've gone anus to anus with a dear, dear friend whilst dipping your festicles in a warm cup of Earl Grey. Thanks for joining me, Crime Stoppers. If you know of any animals as freaky deaky as the bonobos, uh, please describe them in filthy detail in the comments section. If your species can top the bonobos, they could win their very own bat plug. Later, Crime Stoppers.